that moment when you just can't record a story because you keep fucking up. I told it once and the, you know, just the editing shit fucked up and I had to restart. And then I just can't get the fucking point out of my mind. So I have to restart and it's restarting. <laughs> but my name's Akatak and this is another relationship story. Sorry about all the relationship stories. I'll probably make more of different types. You know, there's just a couple first stories, I guess. But I'll have different types. Just trust me. My life's pretty fucked. It's, yeah. And, um, I saw the last video got pretty good, um, I guess, views and stuff compared to my gaming videos. But, you know, it's gaming. I, I'd probably take a hint of that. But anyways, um, I just want to say thank you for the support and the people that liked a uh, guy in the comment section I know in real life uh, told me to tell a 7th grade relationship. A 7th grade relationship. Oh my god. And I and I asked him, and now I know who it is that he's talking about. So uh, that's the story today. Now, I don't know what schedule I'm going to do about stories. Maybe I'll do one every week, even though I just fucked it up. But one every week? Yeah. Let's, why not? You know? Why not? One story every week. Okay. So, anyways, uh, it's in, it was the beginning of 7th grade, in a couple months of 7th grade, that's when me and S broke up, that's from the last story. And I guess the main characters, characters in this story would be called A and B. B is the girlfriend, okay, and A is the best friend of me and the girlfriend of mine. And, um... So, it's when we broke up, and I was confused, obviously, because, you know, every time you break up, you're just questioning yourself. Is that the right decision, you know? And she recommended B, and at the time, I guess we hung out a little bit. And I didn't know much about her, but I just know enough that I was like, okay, I'll just, you know, why not? I asked her out, she said yes, and the first couple of weeks of dating her, um, the whole class and even a teacher found out and it was real shit because you know it was like every time we're together ooh, you know it's just, it's just that stupid stuff but after the clusterfuck of bullshit happened in the classroom um the more you know just the more you hang out um i guess i liked her more and it was all going good until we had um a skull dance and it was like i guess one of the main ones and um a, the best friend, I don't know why she recommended this for being a best friend. She was like, you should kiss her, you know? And I was thinking, I'm like, um... And I did like her, you know, because it's been, like, I guess a month, I think. A month or two. And I guess I really liked her, and I, guess, I think she liked me. Uh, I'll get into that. But, um... I was like, you know, why not? And I, I don't know if Ali told her the same thing, but as the night went on... There was a slow dance because um, every you know school dance have a slow dance, and we were slow dancing. Awkward, I just swear. If you guys are young and you ever have to slow dance, it's just awkward. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you just don't know what to say. But yeah, it was awkward. It wasn't that awkward though, I guess. But we had um, Ali and I guess I'll say Ali. She's been in my videos. Um, friends go crazy she's a the best friend hi Allie sorry for saying your name but fuck it so Allie um when we were slow dancing was like wanking you know hitting like kiss her now <laughs> and I was getting like nervous but turns out she the girlfriend kissed me and it was like a pop kiss but she still kissed me and you know having a kiss your first kiss you're all hyped and stuff and I was hyped, I I went home happy and with a smile, but I asked her if she's ever kissed a guy before, and apparently she has, but get this, she kissed a guy, knowing her first kiss, over Truth or Dare, the game, um, game Truth or Dare, and I was like, and it happened while we were dating, I'm like, well, why is she kissing guys when we're in a relationship? And, well, that got me ticked off, you know, like, oh, she's kissing guys. But, um, I just got over it and I was like, well, everyone makes mistakes, so why not just give her a second chance, right? Everyone deserves a second chance. And I did, I got over it. And, um, everything was going good. And, um, you know, everything was happy, getting good grades, how to, I got, like, I guess at the, 
at the moment it was a good relationship you know that's what I was thinking but then everything started like falling like apart slow sorry for the cutout mic um for some reason uh got a call and you know it was like fucking interrupted me but it started falling apart slowly and um I don't know Ali she told me um like like, um, B, the girlfriend, was, like, slowly not liking me, and I was just like, oh my god, why not? Like, I thought I was being good, boyfriend stuff, I thought everything was good, so that got me a little worried, um, knowing that in my mind, she would sit at my table and stuff, and it was cool, and she acted normal, she acted like she always acted, but I just didn't know. So we just continued, and um, every lunch period, you know, we'd just hang out. Until one night, I get, um, I was FaceTiming Allie and her friend, not the girlfriend, but her friend. And um, they're like, B, my girlfriend, she doesn't know if she likes you anymore. And I was just like, I don't know. And they kept on asking, do you like her back and stuff. I'm like, yeah. Um, so that day, that night, the next school day, um, we were we were sitting down, waiting for everyone to like go to school, and then we'll go to our classes. So you just wait and talk to your friends for like half an hour. But um, we would do that, and that's when she, the broke the breakup happened, and um, she was like. Um, do you want to break up? And I was like, um, <laughs> like, were you supposed to be like, um, yeah, I would file a breakup now. Um, that's what I want. Thanks for asking me. But I was like, um, I don't know. And I asked her and she said, um, yeah. And it was, that sounded really sassy. Um, yeah. <laughs> but no, she said yes. And I was like, well, I guess. Cause you know, why date a girl that's not happy with you? Right. And right after that, I sat lower because I didn't want to talk to her, really, because we just broke up. And my f best friends, also best friends with her, you know, not Allie, but the other one that hanged out with us, said, she told me, she was like, so you know how she would pr play that truth and dare game with the boys? I'm like, yeah. Well, she kind of cheated on you again. I'm just like, wait, what? Yeah, she uh, kissed another boy, and I was, we broke up, right? But I was so mad, I'm like, she really cheated on me with a boy playing a game, which I confronted her about before, but she still did it. That, oh my god, you don't even know how annoying that is. So that happened, and um, that's my first time getting cheated, actually. Um... She kissed the guy again, and I just got mad, and she would still talk to me, like, try to get friends and stuff. I did not want to do anything with her. I didn't want nothing of her. I was just mad at her. I was like, really? You had to do it again. Really? And that was why we're dating. That's why, if it wasn't, then fuck it. Who cares? If she wants to kiss guys by playing a game over and over again, whatever. But while we're dating, that just got me really mad. And at the time, she'd sit at our lunch table, right? She still sat there, right next to me. I faced the other way. I did not look at her. I did not want to talk to her. Oh my god, it was so annoying. My friends knew we broke up, and they were just like, well, why don't you just pick her up? I'm just like, I don't know, because every time I try, you know, it's not going to work. Because, you know, I was friends with them, so. And I didn't want to be mean, because I guess I'm a nice fuck, and I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. I should have. No offense. Oh, hi, Ali, if you're watching this. <laughs> but, um... They finally moved after a while of my friends bitching at them. But, um... It just really got me mad that she would cheat on me. Even though I did nothing to her, um... I tried to do anything, like, in my power to make her happy, but... I guess that wasn't enough for her, and she cheated on me. And I don't know why, but like, um, this is gonna start some, but, um, I told Ethan, cause he's my bestest friend, always, I knew him since, ever, 
and I told him, and then, I don't know how, but the word got out to this guy, and basically, the guy that got the word out told everyone that she cheated on me, and I felt so bad, I don't know why I felt bad, she probably deserves it, but... I felt so bad, I was like, ah oh, shit, I don't want to start anything, you know, I'm not just not, I'm not that type of guy that starts stuff like that. And, um, I told him, I was like, dude, don't tell people, what are you doing? He's like, I know, keep it a secret. I'm just like, what? you can't tell people and tell me you're not to keep it a secret. But he did, he told people, and I don't know, it's, it started stuff, and, um, Near the end of the year, I was just really unhappy of what happened, and I still hung around them sometimes, and I don't know, I wasn't depressed, it's just I stopped talking as much, uh, I, you know, I just didn't really do anything, I acted dead for a while, and um, it sucked, but I was hurt inside, and I didn't like the feeling of getting cheated on, it just, uh, oh my god, it was so annoying. But yeah, that's the story and how I got cheated. Um, it's a relationship story. You broke up. And B, I don't know if you watch this or if you're ever gonna watch this, but if you do, don't worry. I have nothing against you, you know? I forgive you for ever doing that, you know? You're just, we're young, make mistakes. You know, you're, you're on your person. If you wanna kiss other guys while in a relationship, that's you, you know? That's you. But just know, it was probably, you shouldn't do that, even if, like, you're not happy in a relationship anyways. But, don't worry, I forgive you, um, that's my 7th grade relationship, that's mostly it. Besides the S girl, um, that was my only relationship, really. Actually, I think it was, besides the S girl, sure. But yeah, if you want more um, stories, just like the video, contact me like I said and stuff, yeah. And I will be happy to make more random stories. Sorry this is a little long, I'm sorry, I just kind of explained some to depth. But um, I hope you liked the video, and see you in the next story I guess, so uh, bye bye.